The Grand Rapids police captain who reported a U.S. citizen to ICE is now on leave. The punishment for Captain Kurt Vanderkoy came down from the city manager, even after the captain was cleared by the police department's own internal review. Now the police union is firing back. This all centers around the case of Hilmar Ramos Gomez. He was arrested by Grand Rapids police in November for allegedly setting a fire at Spectrum Hospital. Captain Vanderkoy reached out to ICE even though the police department had already determined Ramos Gomez was a citizen and a Marine veteran. Weeks later, Ramos Gomez spent a weekend in ICE custody before they realized their mistake. Tonight, 24-Hour News 8's Lindsay McComel is live at Grand Rapids Police Headquarters with reaction to a police captain being placed on leave now. Lindsay? Soon, Brian. On Monday, just a few days ago, the city manager said that he stood behind the department's internal investigation and the statement that were, was released on Friday by Interim Chief David Kittle. Fast forward to today, it is the exact opposite. Now, the city manager, Mark Washington, nor any other city leaders would talk to us on camera today, but the union reps did, and they made it very clear they believe this is not right. This is unprecedented that now we're reopening a closed case and again, we're sitting here just kind of dumbfounded. The president and vice president of the command officers union for Grand Rapids police fired back after their fellow captain, Kurt Vanderkoy, was placed on administrative leave. He was already cleared by the department, but now the city is getting involved. The reopening of this case and placement of Captain Vanderkoy on administrative leave is in our opinion a clear violation of the due process rights. If there is a policy or procedure that needs to be implemented or corrected or established or something like that, we are always open to that. We are always open to that. And we need the dialogue and the communication. We need to work together to get to that point. But um, I believe, yeah, he is a scapegoat in this for political reasons. Meanwhile, community advocates say the administrative leave is a step in the right direction, but the captain is a symbol of the larger system. If you cannot hold a person accountable in a case like this, when are you going to hold a person accountable? And it really shows the system is broken, that we need to have much better accountability, much better oversight in order to make sure that we protect people in the community. The ACLU has acknowledged the case involving Hilmar Ramos Gomez was a breakdown in communication on multiple fronts, but there was also little communication on the city's decision to get involved. Were you guys given a heads up on that? Was Captain Vanderkoy given a heads up on that? This all has taken place, I'd say, within the last 24 hours of how this decision making, how we got to that point, I can't answer that. The Command Officers Association also alluded to potential civil litigation when all of this is said and done because they believe that Captain Vanderkoy was already cleared. He should not have to face further review and forcing that could open the city up to civil liability. We, of course, will keep an eye on whether or not that develops as well. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.